Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And uh, today we're just gonna have a look at something you can do with your spinnaker boat on the days when you're not able to get out on the water, which can help you for the next time you go out. What this is, is what we're gonna call crew training. So the specific bit of crew training we're gonna be looking at is hoisting and dropping the spinnaker. And we can even start doing it against the clock to see how quickly we can get the spinnaker up and down. This is really good practice to do on land. So let's take a look at how we're gonna do that. Okay, so making sure that we have got the back of the boat towards the wind rather than the boat pointing into the wind. We can then just go through the procedure as many times as we like. So first thing when it comes to hoisting the spinnaker is get in a stable position. If we're on land, of course, the boat isn't moving, but if we're on the water, we might have some waves. So very important to be stable. I favor the one knee, one foot, and then of course, we start off by pulling out the tack line. Tack is out. Then we switch to the halyard. There she's up. Then we take the sheet. And then there we are. We'll call that done. Once we've got the sheet, that is done. And then dropping, we take the retrieval line, take up the slack. Once we've taken up the slack, we bang the halyard and then we go down until the tack line is tight and then we can release the tack line, bring it in the rest of the way, done. Okay, so there's some key points that we could bring out of that. One is maybe you saw the long arm technique where we're taking the halyard using long arms, so less individual mo movements. Another thing we could look at is focus. We wanna be focusing on the rope that we're pulling and nothing else. So when we go to grab it, we're not gonna miss. And then just doing it with determination, watching what's going on, focus, long arms, for a good time. All right, let's do it again without the talking. I think that was pretty quick. Okay, now let's bring it down with purpose. Another tip here, when you're releasing the halyard, to release it through the small block on the front beam. That gives you a bit of extra purchase for getting the kite down. So we take the slack first. Now we're ready. Of course, we don't want that bad boy getting snagged on anything. So just pay attention as the kite is going up and down. Okay. One more time. And we'll just keep doing this over and over again until it's a really fluent manoeuvre. Okay, what I noticed that time is with the hoist, using a grip over the top of the rope was better than under the rope. So little finger towards the front, much better. All right, and down one more time. Did you see those elbows flying? If you're the helm on the boat, you wanna stay out of the way of those bad boys as that bad boy is coming down. Also, of course, by 
doing this sort of training on land, you can see if there's anything on your boat which isn't working particularly well. Perhaps you've got a kind of grinding sound coming from somewhere. That might be one of the blocks is burnt out and it needs replacing, maybe at the end of the bowsprit or at the top of the mast, you might need to replace those blocks or anything else that isn't working particularly well. One thing that might hold you back is if your spinnaker halyard is too short, uh, we're recommending 22 meters for a Formula 18 style boat. Um, of course, if you've got a bigger boat, you're gonna need a longer halyard. Okay, so now we're gonna try it against the clock. Um, all right, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Stop. Six seconds. Six seconds. Ooh. All right, we'll take it down again and we'll try one more time. See if we can beat that. Okay. Whew. Do you think I can beat it? Let's see. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Go. And stop. Same. <laughs> oh, six seconds. six seconds again. Looks like six seconds is the best that I can do. But a great idea to do some crew training if you can't get out on the water. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV. And thanks to Tasso with the clock. Hello.